What's up guys? Y'all know what time it is. It's Tactics Tuesday, and today we have a main five. It's white to play, and if you'd like, you can pause the video real quick and give it a shot. This composition was actually made by the famous chess composer Sam Lloyd, and some of you may have seen this position before, but if you haven't, this is one of the most beautiful compositions and variations I've seen to this day, and I think y'all will get a lot of enjoyment from it. So assuming you guys have had the chance to pause the video real quick and try to figure out this main five, I thought I'd dive in real quick and analyze it a little bit. So here in this position, white would love to bring the rook to either d5 or f5, threatening checkmate, in which case we'd have a checkmate in two, game over. The problem with immediately playing rook d5 or rook f5 is that this rook on c8 could come to c5. Pinning the rook to the king, we'd have to trade rooks off, and a mate in 5 just wouldn't be possible. So to stop rook c5, we play b4. By playing b4, we stop the rook from coming to c5, and now we threaten rook d5 or rook f5, followed by checkmate on f1. So to stop this, black has to actually play rook c5 check, and here we play b takes c5. Now after b takes c5, obviously this rook can't come now to d5 or f5, but it is threatening to come to b1 with checkmate. So here the only move for black is a2, stopping the checkmate. And now we have c6. What is the idea of c6? Well, with c6, we are again threatening rook f5, followed by rook f1 checkmate, right? So in this position, black has two options, bringing the bishop to c7 with the idea of bringing the bishop to f4 or bishop g5. If bishop g5, I mean, what's the idea here? Well, after bishop g5 and let's say rook f5, now black could play bishop f4 and now it's a mate in six, right? However, after bishop g5, we could just play rook d5 and now this bishop cannot interfere with the rook d1 checkmate. So that's bishop g5. The other option is bishop c7. Now again, it seems as if, at least at first sight, this bishop is about to take on g3 and then play bishop e1, making it a mate in six. But here is where the beautiful move comes in. c takes b7. We're threatening to take this knight on a8, and as you can see with this knight, it can't move to either c7 or b6. So really no matter what black does here, let's just say bishop takes g3. Now we have b takes a equals queen or bishop, and we have checkmate. So I hope you guys enjoyed this composition by Sam Lloyd. Kind of crazy to think that someone could have made a puzzle like this up. I really do appreciate the support. Feel free to subscribe. And let me know what y'all thought of this video down below. And as always, wishing y'all an amazing day. Thanks for watching today's video. If you'd like to watch another one, you can click or tap up here. And I've got a lot more high quality chess content on the way. So if you'd like to subscribe, you can click or tap down here. I really appreciate your support.